There are a lot of different skills and techniques in the Grappler Baki series, ranging from techniques seen and used in different martial arts styles all over the world in real life, to moves we see used in MMA competitions like One, Bellator, and the UFC even to this day, to pure martial arts fantasy. Today, I'm starting a series where I do an in-depth discussion of these different techniques, starting with one of the most confusing and controversial ones in the Grappler Baki series, the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill. A common misconception, due to the confusing nature of the skill, is that the reaction time of Baki characters is half a second, or that Baki characters need half a second to react to something. This is not true. Contrary to popular belief, not only can Baki characters react exorbitantly faster than 0.5 seconds and have done so on multiple occasions, but the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill doesn't actually have much anything to do with reaction speed. Confused? Baffled? Allow me to explain. First, to qualify my assertion that Baki characters consistently react to things faster than 0.5 second reaction time would allow for, I'll give two examples of feats of reaction speed explicitly stated to be faster than 0.5 seconds, and one much faster than 0.5 seconds for obvious reasons. This is, admittedly, not entirely necessary, as my explanation of what 0.5 second unconsciousness actually is will remove all doubt that the speed at which one can react and this half a second biological phase in the brain have anything to do with each other, but to give these examples more so serves to open doubtful minds to the possibility that they are wrong. I mean, if a Baki character can indeed react faster than 0.5 seconds, what is the 0.5 second unconscious skill? In any case, our first indication of Baki characters being able to react faster than a half a second reaction is an extremely minor fight in the series, Muhammad Ali vs. Brian London. Brian London was the champion in Ingaterra, London in 1966, and was able to last up to the third round against Muhammad Ali. Despite this, Muhammad Ali defeated him in two seconds after cornering him. Ali landed 17 clean hits on London in two seconds, achieving two things. Ali was landing a punch from start of motion to impact every 0.11 seconds, and he was punching faster than the brain can send a signal to the muscles. If Ali was punching at a speed of one punch every 0.11 seconds, Prime Ali was already five times faster than the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill that somehow outsped both Yujiro Hanma, who was faster than Prime Ali by age 18, and Baki Hanma. Now, Baki is particularly important, because even though we have confirmed proof that Yujiro, by age 18, was dodging punches at 0.11 seconds, five times faster than the 0.5 seconds, Ali Jr., the man that Baki completely and casually blitzed at the start of their fight, was described by Ali himself as being faster, meaning that Baki and Yujiro, both men having been hit by the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill, both have feats of dodging punches five times faster than half a second. Even more to the point, Yujiro, a year after this fight with Baki, fought Musashi, who dashed at Yujiro from roughly 20 feet away and reached Yujiro in a millisecond, obviously faster than half a second. Finally, we have Yujiro being stated as being able to dodge lightning. It's never said that this lightning travels faster than sky to ground in half a second, but it's fucking lightning, so that's not really something that needs to be explicitly stated. In any case, I've made it fairly clear as to why the half a second reaction speed theory doesn't make any form of consistent sense. So now that I've told you what the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill is not, it's time to explain what it is. It refers to the book of Tor Noritranders. In the book, Noritranders states that people are triggered half a second earlier than the brain orders to move. For example, a knife is flying towards some person. That person is triggered, but is still unconscious. 0.5 seconds later, the brain orders to move, and the action comes. That means between when the person is triggered and when they are conscious, the person is unconscious for 0.5 seconds, and others can beat that person as much as they like for 0.5 seconds. It's almost an invisible moment, but Baki has achieved that skill. Or so the Baki wiki says, and not without good reason, as they're quoting the manga almost verbatim. The problem with the move's description in the manga is that Itagaki forgot that everyone in the world but him is a smooth brain that either A just assumes that the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill is a reaction speed feat and claim it's an anti-feat, 
or B, is confused by the wording and just ignores the mechanics of the feat altogether. Even I legitimately struggled for a while in trying to figure out what the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill did. Is it actually reaction speed? Well, no, Yujiro and Baki are confirmed faster than 0.5 seconds reaction speed. Is it the brain sending signals to the muscle to move? That would explain the whole trigger to unconscious to action thing, but it doesn't explain how Yujiro can dodge Ollie's faster than brain signal punches, and not this. So I decided to do some research on the phenomenon, and lo and behold, I found something. There were multiple studies and articles on Google about the half a second phase of unconsciousness, so I looked into the second top result. The first top result was the Baki move. I'll link this study in the description down below if you guys want to read it, and if you want a different source, you should be able to find some others if you google 0.5 second unconsciousness. But as for my findings, to paraphrase my understanding of the article, basically there are three different ways of seeing and understanding the world around you. Your conscious thought, your subconscious thought, and your unconscious thought. I don't know how to explain subconscious thought well, but conveniently it doesn't matter to the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill. The two we'll need to focus on are your conscious and unconscious minds. Simply put, your conscious mind is all the billions of pixels of information your brain receives when you experience a stimulation from your environment, or, in layman's terms, when you perceive something via any of your five senses. All the time people receive such a massive amount of information, your unconscious mind takes it in and filters out anything that might be considered unimportant, like a tiny speck on a wall halfway across the room. If our brains didn't filter out this info, it would overload the sensory section of our brain with too much data and we wouldn't be able to process it all, like a computer with too many windows open. So how do our brains combat this overload, I hear you saying? Well, the answer, as some of you might have guessed, is the conscious mind. The conscious mind is everything you are currently thinking and perceiving. Basically, like a Brita filter, your unconscious mind takes in all the data, or the water, into itself. It filters out all the unimportant data, the, the gross shit that floats around in our water, and transfers the useful data, the clean drinking water, into our minds, or our water pitchers. Filter analogy aside, there's something between the unconscious mind holding the data and the conscious mind holding the data, the transference of the data. That something is the 0.5 seconds unconsciousness skill. There is a half a second gap between when our unconscious mind perceives something and when our unconscious mind transfers the perceived data to your conscious mind. The damnedest thing, people are unable to recall or perceive this half a second gap of time. The study basically says that, while the gap is clearly and always present, humans are unable to recall it, perceiving the perception and processing of data as happening simultaneously. That's the distinction that delineates reaction speed and data transference from the unconscious mind to the conscious mind in a perceivable and tangible way. A reaction can only follow an action. There is an action, and then there is an action again, a reaction. With data transference, it is constantly and always happening so long as you are conscious, as your unconscious mind will always have to filter important data to the conscious mind in order for you to perceive your surroundings, meaning this process happens before action, during action, after action, before reaction, during reaction, and after reaction, as well as every conscious moment of every living creature with a brain at all times. So there, that's it. That's what the 0.5 second unconscious skill is. Being able to notice the half a second delay between when someone's unconscious mind perceives something and when their unconscious mind tells their conscious mind the SparkNotes version of what's happening. As a side note for the people that think this is a Baki specific thing, it's not. It's as much a part of human biomechanics as the heart pumping blood through the body, or the brain being responsible for extracting memories from your subconscious and transferring them to your consciousness, aka remembering things. 0.5 seconds unconscious happens to people in real life, it happens in Baki, and it happens in all of your favorite manga, anime, comics, and shows too. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for the first episode of Grappler Baki Techniques Explained. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. Don't hit that other button though, you know, the thumbs down thing or whatever? Yeah, it fucking melts your brain. Subscribe if you want more Baki, anime, manga, or martial arts content. If you guys want to be here when I upload my next episode of the series, hit that notification bell. Comment down below what you thought of the video, of the 0.5 seconds unconscious skill, or what techniques and series you want me to cover. I have plans to cover Kengen, Tuff, History's Mightiest Disciple Kenichi, and Garudin, but let me know if there are any other series' techniques you'd like to see discussed. I've been Christian, your pro bono YouTuber, and this has been Grappler Baki Techniques Explained. Thanks for watching. Peace.